Right then lads, we are here for episode 8 of the Newcastle United career mode. We're here, we're back in boom and so last episode we hit a bit of a dig in the um in the league table. We lost two out of the three games that we did play. Now seventh in the league, um you can't see the points with the webcam, but if we win this game we go to fourth. We're on twenty five points, I think see Spurs are on twenty seven points. And everyone's already played apart from us, so if we we know if we win we go in that position. So looking at the squad, good news is Tino Livermento's back um from his injury back fully fit which is good to see. Obviously sharpness is still twenty four so for this game we will play Trippier. That point, that that will be the team that we play against um Brentford. Obviously I was gonna start Harvey Barnes putting Brembo against his old team and it's written in the stars for him to do well so we're playing Brentford on a Monday night. It's a it's a must win game if we want to stay in the top four. Let's get into it now. So it's Brentford away. It's a must win game. Let's have it. No, oh we're one 0 down. Luke De Jong, like oh, then he's passed it, and then I think Nick Pope should probably save that as well. One 0 down after twenty minutes, eighty and fuck's sake. Why? No, oh, this game. Why is Nick Pope not catching that? That's absolutely embarrassing. The fact that Nick Pope's not caught that is actually really, really, really concerning. I don't know what it is. Do, do I go back down to world class? Because at the minute on Legendary, I, I kind of get a sniff in any game. And they've crossed the ball in there. Nick Pope has got to catch that. And that, that is now to do with me. That's due to the game. Reap have scored, we've scored, rebound goal. And Bremo made it, Joe Litton scores the rebound, but they like, weren't even play bad. Like, I, I don't know how we've conceded them first two goals, like, but. Oh my god, it's 2 2. What an entertaining game, 33 minutes in. Alexander Rizak scores again. Honestly, I think by the end of this episode, we need to check where he is in the ranking books of, like, top goal scorers in the league and that. Martin de Brav got to celebrate with Eddie Howell there. 2-2, straight back in it. Only, if we didn't concede that shit corner goal, which we didn't deserve to concede, good goal by Isaac. Back um, in the game, 2-2. Come on. Oh, they've scored right before half-time. It's 3-2. We're just kind of, we're kind of dead now, and on, on set pieces especially. They've scored from two corners in this game. And that's such a shy goal to concede again. Like, they've just ran. Like, there's nothing you can do there. You just ran past the ball and shot. Half time, getting beat, 3 2. It's been a quite even game, but they, they've just. The goals they've scored have been absolutely shite. Like, 10 shots, but we had so much more possession. So I think I need a day, boys, because Chipyard has got 64 pace. I'm going to bring Tito on. We need someone on that right hand side. Very Chipyard has been a bit of a problem, but see what we can do now. How are you? Salon, salon, salon. And Bremo got to. Yes, get in. 3-3. Free, free. And Bremo against his former team. You love to see it. That's why I played him on his weak foot as well. Because he's left footed and, and scored from there. Celebrating against his old team. Come on. Back in it again. We, we've, got, we've got to win this game. like So, got to get another goal. But, great finish. Right in that top bins. Come on. Oh, then one of there. It still worked. Come on, 4-3, the first time we've lead, lead in this game, Bruno G scores, Harley Bond gets the assist, I've just brought him on for a member who scored the goal and made it 3-3, Bruno J makes it 4-3 man, what a crazy crazy game, a game we need to win, and we're winning, gotta hold on now though, what, why would I aim it there, I wanted a long straight over, over to Harvey Bond, if we concede now this game is bullshit, <sighs> Is Gordon going to get that? He does. Anthony Gordon. To seal it. Surely to seal it. 5-3. How many goals in this game? Can't reach out on football at its very, very best. You love to see it. Brevin have a corner. Harvey Barnes wins it really, really well. Eight goals in, in a game. Crazy, crazy stuff. But that should, should be three points. But I don't want to jinx it. And there we go. Crazy game. 5 Away goals, eight goals in the game. We've won the game five, three. We've got there in the end. Thank God for that. Being two 0 down, brought it back to two two. We're down to three two. 
But we've done a good second half. I think some of the subs done really well. So I can't remember who we who we've got next. It could be it could be the cup game versus West Ham. We'll have to wait and see. Oh no, our next game is less than the game after that is the cup game versus West Ham. Tough games coming up before the end of the year, but we've got four league games left of 2024. We're going to go into this game versus Leicester, and I think I might change a couple of things in the team. Right there we go, Leicester City at home. They're sitting 15th in the league. This should be a winnable game. We've put Harvey Barnes in the game, his former team. We've got Tino Livermento back in the team. I think he's um, match fit and sharpness has went up by 70%, so I'm sure after this game it'll be okay. That's the team we're going to go on with. Um, let's have it. Leicester City at home. We've got, we've got to win this game as well. Off oh, the post by Isaac. No. Now it's really happening this game. 26 minutes in. That's the first proper chance. So close. Oh, no. Oh, the scows that went in. Nick Pope again. Again. Disappointing from the keeper yet again. I don't know how many times I've said that in this career mode. Literally, there's no happening in this game apart from that chance I set the post and then they've went on the break and scored. I think, like, look at that. He's. Oh, it's shite, man. Half time, get beat 1 0 to Leicester at home. I, th I swear they're sitting 15 in the league before I started. Not being good enough, now it's happened. We have not been good enough in the slightest. I'm just going to stick with what we've got, and if it's now it's happened by the 60th minute, we'll have to make some changes. Oh, what a finish! Harvey Barnes against his former team. What a finish that is by Harvey Barnes on the right peg. You love to see it. Come on, we needed that. Like We needed a goal before the 60th minute where well, I was going to make changes, and great ball. Harvey Barnes has done well there. Ran with the ball and put it right in the top corner. Can't complain about that. Back of the game, 1-1. One, one. Oh, he's won it. Play it. Go on. Harvey Barnes. Harvey Barnes on the double. Come on. A man who was brought up in Leicester. Leicester fan. Scores two against them. Oh, we, oh, we needed that. Thank God for that. Harvey Barnes has done brilliantly. Come on. Back, I say back in the lead. First time in the lead. 2-1. Oh, thank God for that. Harvey Barnes is our by cell. Still going with it. Hat-trick for Harvey Barnes. The man who was brought up in Leicester. The man who's been in Leicester, boys, as I said before. Gets a hat-trick. That game set done. And that's back-to-back -back wins and bins we needed. Thank God for that. We've won it. 3-1. Thank God for that. And there we go. Big, big win. 3-1. Harvey Barnes, as you can see, getting the match ball. Honestly, a boy who obviously was at Leicester and whatnot. And he's just scored a hat-trick against them. Good, good wins. That obviously I was scared when we went 2-0 down against Brentford. We'll end the, end the episode off there. We'll have a look at the league table. We then look at the league table now. As you can still see, we're still sitting in the top four. Ten wins, one draw, five losses. But... We're doing really, really well. Battle about wins in this episode. Arsenal, three points ahead of it. Liverpool, seven points. Man City still haven't lost a game. Um, if we look at the teams around, we'll probably, it'll probably be Chelsea up. So Chelsea are six points behind her. Man United, um, 26. Villa, 26. Spurs, 30. Us, 31. If I look down the bottom of the table, Southampton still haven't won a game. Ipswich, who we've got coming up soon. Nottingham Forest, it's get it's tight all over the table, which is which is good to see. But that's gonna be in the episode eight, boys. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you all in the next one. Yeah, 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 yeah.